I like the way this paint sounds. It was formulated for guitars and it's formulated to sound like lacquer. I mean, this same paint is used on $30,000 Olsen guitars, acoustics, you know, so there's nothing wrong with polyester. It's not, the, the problem with polyester is that if you put polyester into a, a Dixie cup and you let it dry, it will dry. You can cut it and buff it and it will look like a piece of crystal. You can't do that with lacquer. Lacquer will never dry because it's an air dried material. So the problem with polyester is that you can put it on thick if you want to. Where lacquer, you can't put it on thick. But that doesn't mean you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you put polyester on thin, it'll sound Maybe every bit as good as much as The reputation came from a, a lot of builders that use it in the 80s, uh, yeah. in the way you were telling us about so thick. Yeah, layers well, that, that is the problem, you know, when some of the larger manufacturers, I don't want to mention, used to put, the problem is, is when you're sanding this, if we go through the clear and we hit the color, then it has to go back to the beginning. So what companies like the big companies would do is they just put more clear on so they have more in the to next, sand. In the next phase there. Yeah. yeah, so then they don't have to worry about going through yeah. the top coat. Um, that doesn't mean you have to do it that way. We, we put on the smallest amount of paint we can put on to still sand it and buff it and make it look flat and clear. The only danger with polyester is that if you wanted to put it on thick, you can. But that doesn't mean you have to. I have, I have a measuring machine where I can measure the thickness of paint when the guitar is finished. So I took some another big company's lacquer finish and I checked the thickness of the paint was two times thicker than my paint. So even though theirs was lacquer, it was twice as thick. So to me, that means it's going to take away the tone of the wood. It's going to stop. For them, it means they minim minimize the yields. So less mine. Yeah, they have, they have less fallout. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. And the, the other problem with lacquer, or the other advantage to lacquer, is that if I taught you how to shoot lacquer, you could shoot it tomorrow. With polyester, you have to almost go to school. You have to learn a lot about the chemistry and about different temperature requires different catalysts and different process. With uh, lacquer, is much easier. If, if lacquer, if you sand through and burn a spot, you can touch it up and buff it and ship it. But with polyester, you can't. You have to get it the right the first time. So it's more difficult, actually. Here's like a, This is like an MK guitar. Honduras mahogany. Quilt top. The binding. It's got binding. And the headstock, I'm sure, matches. Actually, this is this is going to be one. This, this is actually even more close to Mark's because we're doing the last route last because the guy wants it to go from the back. It's the same way I did Mark Knopfler's. I know. And so, so the pickup, you won't see any pickup rings or anything. So we're doing that last by hand. But this is uh, still needs to, it's, after that it's going to get buffed. It's not that one. It's not this one. Oh, this, there's one. There's one that's done. I don't know what's up with that one. Well, this one's a one piece. That's I don't know, we've, we've done a couple of them. This is Kenny Jim. This shop started with me, Kenny Jin, and Steve. Just the three of us sanding bodies in the back. I meet you a long time ago. Yes, many, <laughs> many moons ago. That's, that's a nice guitar, it's long gone, but that's all, uh, all these details in between the scale is all wood. Wow. By hand? No, hmm. by laser. <laughs> <laughs> but it still took a lot of work. Yeah. Every once in a while we do art guitars, you know, like that, or this one. The customer has a special request. That's a spalted maple arch top, so that this hollow inside. Wow. The one in the middle. It's completely custom, or you pick the pickups? Yeah. No, it's, it's pretty much completely custom, customer order. Actually, this other one was a one-piece quilt maple body. The 
this one here. And it was a and it was a specific request for one piece of maple yeah. body. Yeah. My so per my personal guitar was was that way. Oh, wow! Because you know when you do custom made specific to order, it, 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 you know for you that your guitar builder sometimes it doesn't you don't agree with some of the choices. How do you handle that? You tell the customer or just yeah. to no, I'm honest. You're honest. I, I tell him. You know, I, I don't. Not gonna I, I don't think that's a good choice. But if you want it, I'll make it. So, sometimes I say no. If, if I really don't like the choice, then I just say no. <laughs> that makes sense. But if you if you tell me no, it's what I want. I'm sure. Okay. Don't ask for your money back. <laughs> this is the black machine. This is a new headstock that we were playing around with. There's a little design. Set. Oh, yeah. There's a little more mass to this headstock. Um, it kind of started because Mike Landau had a headstock that has a little more of a bulb on the end, and I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I made it a little bit thicker. So this is like our original headstock, and this is the added wood. Some guys choose to have a different color paint here. Huh? Yeah, so in order to maintain the trademark of your headstock. Yeah. It's another Anopolis style. Wow. Buds Fate. Yeah, the Buds Fate. You, you offer that? Um, yeah, we do, but we're actually starting to phase it out. Um, the, the system is great for some people and not for other people. The problem is, is it's much easier to put it on, but to remove it is very difficult. Because it's the way the frets well, are installed, no, right? No, the frets are the same. But the nut placement is moved. The nut is moved a little bit further uh -huh. this way toward the first fret, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But then you have a compensated intonation to go along with it. Even if you have a guitar that's that's feeten, you can intonate normal if you just intonate from a fretted note to a fretted note. Mm -hmm. You can still intonate normal. And moving the nut forward is something that a lot of manufacturers do, and they don't tell you anyway, because it makes the first fret not be um, sharp. Because you're so close to this point that sometimes when you press down here or here, um, your note can be a little bit sharp because you're so close to that point. Yeah. But so it's not a bad thing to move the nut forward. But um, the buzz feet and system and moving the nut forward is not for everybody. So I encourage people to. He makes a nut that is got the offset built into the nut, so you don't have to cut the. He makes that. Yeah, you don't have okay. you don't have to move the nut forward on his system. His system has a little shelf, so it's moved forward. I for use you. some of this, like the Irvana nut. The Irvana nut is also another great nut. Uh, it works uh, very well. It I did like work it. with me, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like the Irvana nut. Um, I also like the Feetin for certain people, but the problem with both of those things is they're much easier to um, put on than they are to take off. So I would, I lose sales because if you see a guitar on the wall and you say, "I love the guitar, but I don't want the Buzz Feetin." And I can't remove it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes so sense. it's easier for you to say, I want that guitar and now I'm gonna install the buzz feed. So then it's it's your choice. Yeah. Instead of I don't make the choice for you.